uh, in our last session we have seen that uh, inbuilt services that is uh, log services in this uh, session we will see what is factory service this example will that how to use factory so in this example we will see how the factory service uh, uh, is working in angular js okay so here i have my code for services just in my previous example i have shown you how to use services so we have the same code but the difference between the service and the factory is uh, for factory we have to create a object and uh, in addition to that we need to return that object so that object will contain all the variables and function which i will declare inside my factory so in this example i am going to make a factory so let's start so here i am going to change this my service as my factory and the syntax for creating factory same as the service that is desk dot factory and desk is my variable which holds the module name l1 so desk dot my factory and in parenthesis it takes two parameter first is my factory name second one is function so this one would be my the factory name that is my factory and then inside this factory i am going to create an object let's say where obj so i have created an object and what i will do is now with help of this object i will create this function that is object dot get weather and inside this function i am writing this string that is summer is hot and at the end what i will do is i will return this object so let's make another uh, function say obj dot get city is equal to function and return the city name any city you want to write say kharagpur and at the end what i did is return the object okay and now what i did is inside my controller that is dust dot controller i simply injected this factory which i created here and then inside this controller i am accessing the function inside this controller i am accessing the function that is dollar scope and keeping the very value of get whether what i will return i will get from this function that will be stored in weather and let's make another variable say scope dot ct is equal to my factory dot get city and save this and inside the view what i'm going to write is h1 city name and here i will use that variable city and here today's weather is this variable that is weather which i will get from this function so let's run this example so just make a overview everything is fine yeah does oh oh here you need to write the factory that is f s c t o r y so that is dust dot factory similar to dust dot services we have used earlier so in case of factory we will write the dust dot factory and then we will uh, uh, save this and all everything is fine so let's run this and check how it is working So friends you can see that uh, today's uh, weather is summer today's weather is summer is hot this text i am getting from that function and this name as well from my factory function so let's uh, make it today's weather is good or moderate and save it 
refresh it so you can see it's changing so this is the example for factory so in this factory you just need to keep in your mind that uh, you have to create an object and uh, depending on that object you create your functions and then at the end you return that object and inside your controller you access that uh, functions those functions which are declared inside the factory through this factory name dot the function name so by doing this it will return you the string which you declared in this function return the value and that value you are going to store in this scope variable and this scope variable you're going to display in your view so friends we have seen that uh, how to use factories in our next session we will see the service service